The first lady, Janet Museveni, has announced her support for the school's plan to construct another girls' dormitory, acknowledging the importance of expanding educational infrastructure. Jen this kind gesture is truly an honor in memory of the founders of this noble cause. I thank you for promoting girl child education and for motivating your children by providing this conducive environment as they go through school. Janet Museveni reminded the audience about the vision of establishing a government secondary school per sub-county and the deliberate decision to have seed secondary schools as the schools due to the significant facilities required for boarding schools, including sanitation and kitchen facilities. Now when we say that we build more dormitories here, what does that mean? It means that the children will be boarders here. They will stay at school. That therefore means we have to feed the children at school. We have to have washrooms. We have to have a sick bay. We have to have those extras that the school perhaps doesn't have right now. So who will take care of that part for the children? I want us to, to know this and be deliberate about what we do. Because building another dormitory is something we can sit down one day and raise money for and build another dormitory. But that's not enough. Who is going to feed those children? Who's going to take care of them when they leave in school? Is the community willing to take that responsibility? That's the question. She encouraged students to develop the character necessary for success and urged duty bearers in Ramagua sub-county to address the issue of school dropout rates. Encourage your children to enroll in school and to complete the education. Please shield them from the negative effects of domestic violence and early marriages. Indeed, I'm disheartened to learn that girls in this community have a high school dropout rate. When I hear of parents, guardians, and community members perpetuating negative cultures that undermine girls' dignity and education, it is saddening. It is so sad. This is because they violate the children's innocence and their trust in their, par in their own parents. Inspector General of Government Betty Kamia and the chairperson of the foundation body of Samson Kalibala Seed Secondary School expressed their appreciation for government support, which furthers the educational dream of Ma Makamia's late father, who aspired to provide education to the community. President Natura Watu De, Echivina Chaba and Tuchino Chona Echitu Dewano, Nevaja Okumani Riza, Nagambaba Narakai, Ntingenda Kubazimbira. Esomero. Tuwa galo kweba za nyabo, nga kwe minister we njigiriza, kwe vya njigiriza, mungkumi bili mungkumi na munana, netufuna grant ya World Bank, ya buumbi bubiri, mungmilioni, chikumi. Nola gila bazimbe, ebibina, science lab, computer lab, multi-purpose hall, echisawe chomu pire chomu lembe, toilet sezi sanira, ama yumba gawa somesa, office ya headmaster yomu lembe, nevi lala nga chairman wa board buwabi anjude. Fe abali na awa somesa abatano, atenga siba tende ke, ministre yo netuwa awa somesa abili mbatano, Ngabona, their government, but some government, our ten decay.
Since being handed over to the government in 2015, the school has received over 2 billion shillings for infrastructure development, resulting in increased enrollment and improved academic performance thanks to funding from the Uganda Intergovernmental Fiscal Transfers Program backed by the World Bank. Sudat Kaye, UBC News.